As Greater Sydney's COVID outbreak worsens, calls are growing for Australia to introduce rapid antigen testing. SBS reporter Omar Dehen has been following developments. He joins us now with the details. Omar, how do these tests work? Well, Janice, they're another tool in the fight to keep pace with the virus and help curb the spread of the highly infectious Delta variant. An antigen test, also known as a rapid test, is a faster, cheaper but less effective way to help determine if you have COVID. It works very differently to the test we're familiar with, the PCR nasal swab, and can be taken at home with results in just 15 minutes. Rapid antigen testing is looking at the a part of the outside of the virus rather than the genetic material. And it's not too dissimilar to what we use for pregnancy tests, for instance, where you have a filter paper essentially and you see a line that comes up if you you know, have the right reaction there. A joint study led by Oxford University found rapid tests can be up to 95% accurate for symptomatic cases, but that rate drops to less than 60% for people showing no symptoms. Australian pathologists, though, believe its true accuracy is actually much lower and warn the higher a community's infectious rate, the less reliable the tests become. If you were to use them and, um, you know, assume our prevalence in Australia happened to be about 0.5%, I'm hoping it doesn't get to that level, but if it ever did, the worry would be that you would actually have false positives. So you would get like an extra 7 to, in 10 to 9 in 10 that the tests would call positive that actually aren't positive. Rapid tests are available across Europe, the UK and US, where they can be bought at supermarkets, pharmacies and even petrol stations. There's a push in Australia for the federal government to do the same. This week, New South Wales announced it will trial testing at high-risk places like work sites and high schools, but not yet at aged care centres or hospitals. We've got to remember this is an additional thing not a substitute for the PCR test. If we really want to find all the cases and make sure they're quarantine isolated, PCR is what we have to rely on. But for instance, this can be a way of getting a rapid result while you're waiting for the PCR test. I mean, a closed population, there may be ways of using them. And I know we're, we are looking at that and we should look at that, but we shouldn't just let the gate open and let the horses go out in the paddock because we don't know what's out there. While the tests are TGA approved, our nation's leaders are still hesitant to even partly rely on them for now.